Hello and welcome to this year's EWTN's series of Lenten Reflections from the Catholic National Shrine and Basilica of Our Lady here at Walsingham, England's Nazareth. My name is Father Robert Billing, the rector here, speaking to you from the beautiful and ancient Slipper Chapel. In the Church's lectionary or liturgical book of Scripture readings, the first readings during Lent in all three years attempt to rehearse and so teach us salvation history, not just as a refresher for the faithful gathered at Sunday Mass, but also as an initiation for the catechumens, those who are preparing to enter into the story of salvation and the life of the Church through the sacraments of initiation this Easter. We all know of those books that draw us and our imagination in, in which we find ourselves somehow absorbed, where we find ourselves in a very different reality through reading them. In a way, the Scriptures, the Bible, is surely such a book. It is also a book of books, where the reader can enter into that book and write new chapters by his or her own life. The way one enters into the story is through baptism, where we can make the story of salvation into our very own story now. Then the newly baptized can say that he or she has experienced the creation for themselves when the dry land came up out of the water. They have been through the flood they have crossed the Red Sea with Moses and the Israelites. They entered the Promised Land through the waters of the Jordan, and much more besides. All these events of salvation history, which prefigured baptism, are applied to the baptized as they become part of his or her own story, so that in a certain sense, he or she can say, I was there. A leitmotif for this first Sunday of Lent could easily be identified as the new creation. And in our first reading from Genesis, we hear about the great flood, perhaps the first new creation in what we call salvation history. Genesis 1-2 describes the earth as being covered by the waters of the great deep before God began his creative acts. And in the flood, the waters of the great deep cover the earth once again, so that the dry land may be brought up for a second time, and animals and man repopulate the face of the earth. The ark we hear about is a sort of floating garden of Eden. It has even been called a kind of zoo. The ark prefigures the temple in Jerusalem, which likewise would be a sacrament of Eden. Noah is a new Adam, a new father of humanity, who like Adam receives a covenant and the blessings to be fruitful and multiply, and he exercises authority over the rest of creation. After the flood, the earth has been cleansed and is new again. The animals and human beings find themselves in a renewed and restored creation. For us as Christians, the flood illustrates a pattern in salvation history, that of God's mercy being greater than his justice. Although God justly could have ended the history of the earth with the waters of the flood, instead, he has mercy on humanity and the animals by going to great lengths to spare representatives of each kind and then offers to them a new covenant at the end of time of judgment, a new covenant it is not to overstate things to say that the covenant with Noah mentioned in our first reading 
is a foreshadowing of the new covenant in Christ, which came after the long punishment of Israel in the exile and opened the door to endless mercy and forgiveness by the pouring out of the Holy Spirit upon us in baptism. Turning to our responsorial psalm, after hearing of the new covenant with Noah that prefigures the new covenant in Christ, the responsorial psalm at Mass celebrates the covenant relationship between God and humanity. A covenant forms a family relationship. And while family relationships create mutual obligations, they also provide the context for profound love and intimacy. The psalm celebrates God's instruction, the law associated with his covenant, as a way that leads to both life and joy. Far from wanting to be released from God's law or find loopholes around it, the psalmist loves God's law and wants to understand it more deeply. He sings, Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, teach me your paths. This desire is far from the attitude that is just interested in doing the minimum necessary to get into heaven. Of course, in the new covenant, the law is not so much a written code, but is found in a person the Holy Spirit. The love that the psalmist has for God's instruction, God's way, we can apply to love for the Holy Spirit and that desire to grow more deeply in our understanding of and openness to Him. We'll take a break now just for a few moments. Please join us again in just a moment. Welcome back everyone to our Lenten Reflection for the first Sunday of Lent. In our second reading for this Sunday, we have this remarkable passage of 1 Peter, which shows the intimate connection between the time of the flood that we have referred to earlier and our redemption in Christ. After his death and resurrection, St. Peter says, Jesus went to preach to the spirits in prison. This text refers to the Hebrew concept of Sheol, or in Greek, Hades, the realm of the dead. It is not the same kind of thing as the hell we understand in the Christian tradition, as the place of punishment for those who definitively reject God, but rather it is the netherworld, the chamber where all souls those of the just and the unrighteous are waiting for the coming of the Messiah and the time of judgment. Peter goes on to speak of the symbolism of the flood. The flood, he insists, is a type of baptism which saves you now. We note Peter's straightforward sacramental realism when he declares, baptism saves you now. Indeed, Baptism not only saves us, but is an external sign of one's profession of faith in Christ. Peter describes baptism as a pledge made to God from a good conscience. This unusual formulation could confuse people, but the apostle means that the rite of baptism is, in a sense, a prayer to God for the cleansing of our conscience through the gift of the Holy Spirit. Only baptism can truly clear our consciences by removing and forgiving sin and infusing us all with the mind of Christ. We know that the Holy Spirit was poured out after the resurrection and ascension 
And just as Peter recalled the resurrection and ascension in his sermon at the first Christian Pentecost, so now he ties the efficacy of baptism to the resurrection and ascension. Jesus, our Lord, is now enthroned over all the spiritual powers and pours out the Holy Spirit of power on all who come to him in faith and humility, in particular through the gift of the waters of baptism. In the Gospel for this first Sunday of Lent, Saint Mark describes Jesus' 40-day journey into the desert in terms that suggest it was a kind of return, if not to the Garden of Eden, but at least to the primeval state of humanity. Look at the parallels between Adam in the garden and Jesus in the desert. Both were tempted by Satan. Both were with wild beasts. Both were in the company of the angels. Jesus is the new Adam and is superior to Adam. Inasmuch as Jesus withstands the temptations of Satan, whereas Adam succumbed to each of them. The differences between the two are also significant. Adam fell, though living in an earthly paradise. Jesus our Lord prevailed, though dwelling in a God-forsaken desert. Having defeated Satan, our Lord Jesus returns from the desert and begins his public or preaching ministry. The time has come, we learn, the culmination of all the covenants, including that with Noah. The kingdom of God is at hand. This means not just it is close, but rather it is here. It has arrived. How? In the person of Jesus, who is the King and the Lord of all the earth. Repent and believe the good news. Repent means to stop, to take stock, and to turn away from our sins, each one of them. Sin can be defined as selfishness or as a breaking of the covenant. Sin is what separates us from God, indeed the only thing that can separate us, because sin is in its essence a rejection of love, and God is love. Therefore, every sin is a rejection of God, so we repent and we believe the good news. What is this good news? That the kingdom of God has arrived and is being unfolded here and now on earth. This is still good news today, in our own time and in our own place. God's kingdom has arrived and one can enter into it through the sacrament of baptism, the first sacrament of the church and the gateway to the life of grace. This provides the means for the most intimate conceivable relationship of love with the creator of the universe. This is good news indeed. Thank you everyone for joining us for this reflection from Walsingham. Please do join us again next week for our EWTN Lenten series when Father Benedict Kiley of the Ordinariate will reflect upon the readings of the second Sunday of Lent. May God bless you all from Walsingham.
we will now say the rosary. And for those who are joining us online today, we will be reciting the rosary of the seven sorrows of Our Lady as part of our Friday Lenten devotions. The sorrowful mysteries of the rosary will be recited this afternoon as part of the afternoon devotions. The Rosary of the Seven Sorrows, for those who are less familiar with it, sometimes known as the Dolor Rosary, consists of seven mysteries. Each mystery comprises one Our Father and seven Hail Marys. There is no Glory Be or Fatima Prayer. The Rosary is concluded with three Hail Marys in remembrance of the tears Mary shed for her son's suffering and to pray for true sorrow and a desire to model our lives on the example of Our Lady. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My God, I offer you this rosary for your glory, so I can honour your Holy Mother, the Blessed Virgin, so I can share and meditate upon her suffering, just as Mary accepted the total mystery of Christ into her life, so may we see in our sorrow, our fear and humiliation, a dim but real participation in his passion and death, recalling that if we wish to follow him, we must take up our cross each day. I humbly beg you to give me true repentance for all my sins. Give me wisdom and humility so that I may receive all the indulgences contained in this prayer. And now our act of contrition. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all, because they offend thee, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. The first sorrow of Our Lady, the prophecy of Simeon. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, You see this child, he is destined for the fall and for the rising of many in Israel, destined to be a sign that is rejected, and a sword will pierce your own soul too, so that the secret thoughts of many may be laid bare. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The second sorrow of Our Lady, the flight into Egypt. <clears throat> the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother with you, and escape into Egypt, and stay there until I tell you, because Herod intends to search for the child and do away with him. So Joseph got up, and taking the child and his mother with him, left that night for Egypt, where he stayed until Herod was dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The third sorrow of Our Lady, the child Jesus is lost in the temple. They were overcome when they saw him, and his mother said to him, My child, why have you done this to us? See how worried your father and I have been looking for you. Why were you looking for me? He replied. Did you not know that I must be busy with my father's affairs? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The fourth sorrow of Our Lady. Our Lady meets Jesus carrying the cross. Large numbers of people followed him, and of women too, who mourned and lamented for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep rather for yourselves and for your children. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The fifth sorrow of Our Lady. Our Lady stands at the foot of the cross. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The sixth sorrow of Our Lady. Our Lady receives the body of Jesus. Truly I have set my soul in silence and peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Seventh Sorrow of Our Lady Our Lady Witnesses the Burial of Jesus So Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean shroud, and put it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a large stone across the entrance of the tomb and went away. Now Mary of Magdala and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the sepulchre. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we now say three Hail Marys in honour of the tears of our sorrowful mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. It will say one Our Father, one Hail Mary, and one Glory Be, for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for us, O most sorrowful Virgin, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus, we now implore, both for the present and for the hour of our death, the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, your mother, whose holy soul was pierced at the time of your passion by a sword of grief. Grant us this favour, O Saviour of the world, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit for ever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The word is made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham, Saint Joseph. Welcome to the National Shrine and Basilica of Our Lady at Walsingham. We bring all our intentions to the Mother of God in this Mass today, and also welcome to those of you who are watching this on live stream or via radio. Set me free from my distress, O Lord. See my lowliness and suffering, and take away all my sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, we pray, may be so conformed to the paschal observances that the bodily discipline now solemnly begun may bear fruit in the souls of all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, if the wicked man renounces all the sins he has committed, respects my laws and is law-abiding and honest, he will certainly live. He will not die. All the sins he committed will be forgotten 
from then on. He shall live because of the integrity he has practiced. What? Am I likely to take pleasure in the death of a wicked man? It is the Lord who speaks, and not prefer to see him renounce his wickedness and live. But if the upright man renounces his integrity, commits sin, copies the wicked man and practices every kind of filth, is he to live? All the integrity he has practiced shall be forgotten from then on. But this is because he himself has broken faith and committed sin, and for this he shall die. But you object. What the Lord does is unjust. Listen, you house of Israel, is what I do unjust? Is it not what you do that is unjust? When the upright man renounces his integrity to commit sin and dies because of this, he dies because of the evil that he himself has committed. When the sinner renounces sin to become law-abiding and honest, he deserves to live. He has chosen to renounce all his previous sins. He shall certainly live. He shall not die. The word of the Lord. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak and Israel on the Lord. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Seek good and not evil so that you may live, and that the Lord God of hosts may really be with you. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, If your virtue goes no deeper than that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. You have learnt how it was said to our ancestors, You must not kill, and if anyone does kill, he must answer for it before the court. But I say this to you, anyone who is angry with his brother will answer for it before the court. If a man calls his brother fool, he will answer for it before the Sanhedrin. And if a man calls him renegade, he will answer for it in hell fire. So then, if you are bringing your offering to the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your offering there before the altar, go and be reconciled with your brother first, and then come back and present your offering. Come to terms with your opponent in good time while you are still on the way to the court with him, or he may hand you over to the judge and the judge to the officer, and you'll be thrown into prison. I tell you solemnly, 
you will not get out till you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, again, many themes in our readings today. Themes of renouncing sin, respecting God's laws, being law-abiding and honest, not giving in to anger. So, these are very high moral standards that the Lord puts before us today. The bar certainly has been set. And then the gospel, of course, we hear about seeking forgiveness from God and also being able to forgive others as well. It's that awareness of our own guilt which is sometimes important and the psalm very much reminds us of that today. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. So the scriptures do seem to be, on first glance, quite sombre, and maybe even a little gloomy. But they do point to something deeper. And again, a theologian, a good Catholic theologian, says this about these words. So how can these scriptures be used to forward a gospel, precisely a message of good tidings? Well, firstly, the gospel couldn't be good unless it upheld right morality. There is no goodness without what is right in all its beauty. As humans, we have an instinctive capacity for knowing whether something is right or wrong. Our conscience reminds us of that. And secondly, the gospel is not a gospel of grace through being a gospel of forgiveness on the cheap. Free forgiveness and cheap forgiveness are not at all the same thing. Cheap forgiveness says, there, there, nothing you did or failed to do matters really. Free forgiveness says, it matters dreadfully, but the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of the one who was God, can reverse the sentence and wash the stain away. That's precisely what happens in the sacrament of reconciliation. God takes away those sins. They're forgiven once and for all. And I came across this beautiful reflection again, really about forgiveness from today's Office of Readings, the second Office of Readings, uh, which is by St. Aylred from his, um, from his meditations, The Mirror of Love. And he's talking particularly about the phrase, Jesus saying, Father, forgive them from the cross. So this is what he says about that. Who could listen to that wonderful prayer so full of warmth, of love, of unshakable serenity, Father, forgive them, and hesitate to embrace his enemies with overflowing love? Father, he says, forgive them. Is any gentleness, any love lacking in this prayer? Yet he put it into something more. It was not enough to pray for them. He wanted also to make excuses for them. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. They are great sinners, yes, but they have, a little, they have little judgment, therefore. Father, forgive them. They are nailing me to the cross, but they do not know who it is that they are nailing to the cross. If they had known, they would never have crucified the Lord of glory. Therefore, Father, forgive them. They think it is a lawbreaker, an imposter claiming to be God, a seducer of the people. I have hidden my face from them, and they do not recognise my glory. Therefore, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. If someone wishes to love himself, he must not allow himself to be corrupted by indulging his sinful nature. If he wishes to resist the promptings of his sinful nature, he must enlarge the whole horizon of his love to contemplate the loving gentleness of the humanity of the Lord. I'll just read that phrase again. The loving gentleness of the humanity of the Lord. 
Father, if he, further, if he wishes to savour the joy of brotherly love with greater perfection and delight, he must extend even to his enemies the embrace of true love. And that brings me to another point, particularly related to the gospel today. And it's this. So then, if you are bringing your offering to the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your offering there before the altar, go and be reconciled with your brother first, and then come back and present your offering. This is referring to two, asking for forgiveness, and particularly, I would also add, regularly going to that sacrament of reconciliation, of being reconciled to God uh, first in our hearts. And we do that, of course, at the beginning of Mass in the penitential rites, but also in that sacrament of reconciliation for more serious sins, it is important to confess those before going forward for communion, so that when we do receive the Lord, we can receive everything that he wishes to give to us. Those sins will no longer be blocking that grace that he wishes to bestow on us. And also that business, this is kind of implied here in this reading, but about being at peace with others. And there, there's a remnant of that, a reminder of that, you could say, at the exchange of peace in the Mass, where the priest says, let us offer each other a sign of peace. That is a way of making up to those around us for any shortcomings that we may have had or any sins we may have committed towards them. So I'll return once again to St Elred with those final few lines on that, from that meditation. He says, but if he wishes to resent, prevent sorry, this fire of divine love from growing cold because of injuries received, let him keep the eyes of his soul always fixed on the serene patience of his beloved Lord and Saviour. We can keep the eyes of our soul fixed on the serene patience of our beloved Lord and Saviour by looking at Our Lady and praying with her as she draws us closer to her Son in this Mass and indeed in every Mass that we attend. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord May these blessed mysteries both accept the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, by which in your power and kindness you willed us to be reconciled to yourself and our salvation to be restored through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, We humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me mystery of faith we proclaim therefore O Lord as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and, recognising the sacrificial victim, 
by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, for whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
for the reception of Holy Communion. If you're not Catholic or cannot receive communion for any other reason, you're welcome to come forward for a blessing. If you cross your arms over your chest like so, I'll give you a blessing. If you're receiving communion on the tongue, please open your mouth widely so I can place the sacred host onto your tongue. If you're receiving communion in the hand, uh, please consume the host uh, before uh, leaving from in front of, of me. Communion Antiphon. As I live, says the Lord, I do not desire the death of the sinner, but rather that he turn back and live.
Let us pray. Show and may the holy refreshment of your sacrament restore us anew, O Lord, and cleansing us of old ways, take us up into the mystery of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for thank you for being at Mass uh, here this afternoon. Um, just a reminder of our afternoon program here. So from two o'clock we have Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament here, and then at three o'clock we have the Divine Mercy Chaplet, followed by Rosary, and concluding with benediction. So you're very welcome to come to that if you're able to. Please continue to pray for more sunshine. We desperately need more sunshine here to try and evaporate all this water that's accumulated. So prayers appreciated for that. Wishing you a blessed pilgrimage today and also a safe home as well. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Ave Regina Celorum, Ave Domina Angelorum, Salve Radex, Salve Porta, Ex qua mundo lux es dota, Gaude Virgo Gloriosa, Super Omnet Speciosa, Vale o valde decora, et pro nobis Christum exora. Our Lady of Walsingham, Saint Joseph.
part of the year of prayer and preparation for the Jubilee year of 2025, we will now say the Jubilee prayer. Father in heaven, may the faith you have given us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our brother, and the flame of charity enkindled in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, reawaken in us the blessed hope for the coming of your kingdom. May your grace transform us into tireless cultivators of the seeds of the gospel. May those seeds transform from within both humanity and the whole cosmos in the sure expectation of a new heaven and a new earth, when with the powers of evil vanquished, your glory will shine eternally. May the grace of the Jubilee reawaken in us, pilgrims of hope, a yearning for the treasures of heaven. May that same grace spread the joy and peace of our Redeemer throughout the earth. To you, our God, eternally blessed, be glory and praise forever. Amen.
Santo Ergo Sacra Pento. Sacramento, pira beni passionis tui memoriam de Christi, trebimu quesimus, ita nos copris it sanguinis tui sacro misteria venerari, ut remsiones tui fructum, in nobis jutita sensiamus, qui viva seterenias in secula seculorum. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. 
Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be St. Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. stations of the cross.
feel free to move closer to the stations if you so wish. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My Lord Jesus Christ, you have made this journey to die for me with unspeakable love, and I have so many times ungratefully abandoned you. But now I love you with all my heart, and because I love you, I am sincerely sorry for ever having offended you. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany you on this journey. You go to die for love of me. I want my beloved Redeemer to die for love of you. My Jesus, I will live and die always united to you. The first station, Pilate condemns Jesus to die. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus Christ, after having been scourged, was crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. My adorable Jesus, it was not Pilate, no, it was my sins that condemned you to die. I beseech you by the merits of this sorrowful journey to assist my soul on its journey to eternity. I love you, Lord Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. us. The second station Jesus accepts his cross. We adore thee O Christ and we praise thee. For by of your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider Jesus as he walked this road with the cross on his shoulders, thinking of us and offering to his Father on our behalf the death he was about to suffer. My most beloved Jesus, I embrace all the sufferings you have destined for me until death. I beg you by all your suffering in carrying your cross to help me carry mine with your perfect peace and resignation. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the first fall of Jesus. Loss of blood from the scourging and crowning with thorns had so weakened him that he could hardly walk, <coughs> and yet he had to carry that great load upon his shoulders. As the soldiers struck him cruelly, he fell several times under the heavy cross. My beloved Jesus, it was not the weight of the cross, but the weight of my sins which made you suffer so much. By the merits of this first fall, save me from falling into mortal sin. I love you, Lord Jesus, my love above all things. 
I repent with my whole heart of having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy on us. The fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise, praise thee. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the son met his mother on his way to Calvary. Jesus and Mary gazed at each other, and their looks became as so many arrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. My most loving Jesus, by the pain you suffered in the meeting, in this meeting, grant me the grace of being truly devoted to your most holy mother. And you, my queen, who was overwhelmed with sorrow, obtain for me by your prayers a tender and lasting remembrance of the passion of your divine son. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart, having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy on us. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how weak and weary Jesus was. At each step he was at the point of expiring. Fearing that he would die on the way when they wished him to die the ignominious death of the cross, they forced Simon of Cyrene to help carry the cross after our Lord. My beloved Jesus, I will not refuse the cross as Simon did. I, I accept it and embrace it. I accept in particular the death that is destined for me with all the pains that may accompany it. I unite it to your death and I offer to you and I offer it to you. You have died for love of me, I will die for love of you and to please you. Help me by your grace. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy on us. The sixth station, Bronica offers the veil to Jesus. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the son met his mother on his way to Calvary. Jesus and Mary gazed at each other, and their looks became so many arrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. My beloved Jesus, your face was beautiful before 
you began this journey. But now it no longer appears beautiful and disfigured with wounds and blood. Alas, my soul also was once beautiful when it received your grace in baptism. But I have since disfigured it with my sins. You alone, my Redeemer, can restore it to its former beauty. Do this by the merits of your passion, and then do with me as you will. I love you, Lord Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy on us. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the second fall of Jesus under his cross renews the pain in all the wounds of the head and members of our afflicted Lord. My most gentle Jesus, how many times you have forgiven me and how many times I have fallen again and begun again to offend you. By the merits of this second fall, give me the grace to persevere in your love until death. Grant that in all my temptations I may always have recourse to you. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart, having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy on us. Eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the women wept with compassion, seeing Jesus so distressed and dripping with blood as he walked along. Jesus said to them, Weep not, weep not so much for me, but rather for your children. My Jesus, laden with sorrows, I weep for the sins which I have committed against you because of the punishment I deserve for them and still more because of the displeasure they have caused you who have loved me with an infinite love. It is your love more than the fear of hell which makes me weep for my sins. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy on us. The ninth station, Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus Christ <coughs> fell for the third time. He was extremely weak and the cruelty of his executioners was excessive. 
They tried to hasten his steps, though he hardly had strength to move. By outrage, Jesus, by the weakness you suffered in going to Calvary, give me enough strength to overcome all human respect and all my evil passions, which have led me to despise your friendship. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy on us. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus was violently stripped of his clothes by his executioners. The inner garments adhered to his lacerated flesh, and the soldiers tore them off so roughly that the skin came with them. Have pity for your saviour, saviour so cruelly treated, and tell him. My innocent Jesus, by the torment you suffered in being stripped of your garments, help me to strip myself of all attachment for the things of earth, that I may place all my love in you, who are so worthy of my love. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy on us. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider Jesus thrown down upon the cross. He stretched out his arms and offered to his eternal Father the sacrifice of his life for our salvation. They nailed his hands and feet and then raising the cross led him to die in anguish. My despised Jesus, nail my heart to the cross that it may always remain there to love you and never leave you again. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy on us. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how your Jesus, after three hours of agony on the cross, is finally overwhelmed with suffering and abandoning, abandoning himself to the weight of his body, bows his head and dies.
My dying Jesus, I devoutly kiss the cross on which you would die for love of me. I deserve, because of my sins, to die a terrible death. But your death is my hope. By the merits of your death, give me the grace to die embracing your feet and burning with love of you. I yield my soul into your hands. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy on us. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how after our Lord had died, he was taken down from the cross by two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, and placed in the arms of his afflicted mother. She received him with unutterable tenderness and pressed him close to her bosom. The mother of sorrows, for the love of your son, accept me as your servant and pray to him for me. And you, my Redeemer, since you have died for me, allow me to love you, for I desire only you and nothing more. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy on us. The fourteenth station, Jesus is placed in the sepulchre. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the disciples carried the body of Jesus to its burial, while his mother went with them and arranged it in the sepulchre with her own hands. They then closed the tomb and all departed. O oh, my buried Jesus, I kiss the stone that closes you in, but you gloriously did rise again on the third day. I beg you by your resurrection that I may be raised gloriously on the last day, to be united with you in heaven, to praise you and love you forever. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended thee, Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy on us. finish with a Our Father, Hail Mary, and a Glory Be for Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. continue our devotions with the Divine Mercy Chaplet. You expired Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. Amen. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One. 
Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus. I trust in you. Jesus. I trust in you. Jesus. I trust in you. Do we now say the sorrowful mysteries of the rosary? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We now say one Our Father, three Hail Marys, and a glory be for an increase in the gifts of faith, hope, and charity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. In his anguish, he prayed with all the greater intensity, and his sweat became like drops of blood falling to the ground. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins. Save, save us from, from the fires of hell, hell. Lead, all lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially those who have most need, need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Pilate released Barabbas to them. Jesus, however, he first had scourged, then he handed him over to be crucified. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, 
Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins. Save, save us from, from the fires, fires of hell. Lead, lead all, all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially those who have most need of thy mercy. mercy. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Weaving a crown out of thorns, they fixed it on his head. Then they began to mock him, saying, All hail, King of the Jews. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, 
Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins. save, save us, us from, from the fires of hell, lead, lead all, all souls to heaven, heaven especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery Jesus carries his cross. In the end, Pilate handed Jesus over to be crucified. Jesus was led away, and carrying his cross by himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins. save, save us, us from the fires of hell, hell. Lead, lead all souls, souls to heaven, 
especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. There they crucified him. Jesus said, it is finished. He bowed his head and delivered up his spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins save, save us, us from, from the fires of hell, and lead all souls, souls to heaven, especially, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, hail, hail our, our life, our sweetness, sweetness and our hope. hope. To, thee to thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee, to thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn, Turn then, most, most gracious advocate, advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And, and after this our exile, show, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, clement, O loving, loving O, o sweet, sweet Virgin, Virgin Mary. Pray for us, most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. 
O God, whose only, only begotten, begotten Son, Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, grant we beseech thee, thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And we say, one Our Father, one Hail Mary, and one glory be, for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.